Heavenly Father, we just thank you and we praise you today. Holly is your name. You great and mighty and awesome and wonderful. Hallelujah. We're so thankful for the opportunity to just to come boldly to your throne of grace. Thank you for the access that has been given to us by your only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ. It is because of him that we can come boldly to your throne of grace. Hallelujah. Obtain mercy and to find favor. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you. Hallelujah. We honor you. We reverence you. You and you alone are worthy. You're you're worthy of all praise and all glory and all honor. You're a great God. You're great and you're mighty. You're worthy of all praise. We bless your name, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your blood that cover us even now. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for our hope being in you. In spite of what we see in the natural, we know that we are more than conquerors. Through you, Lord Jesus, thank you for your love. Thank you for your loving kindness, Father, that you look beyond our faults and our imperfections and you saw our needs and you grant to us grace. Hallelujah. We thank you so very much for your grace. We thank you for your mercy that endures forever. You are good and your mercy endures forever. And we thank you today. We give you all praise. We give you all glory and honor. We worship you. We worship you in spirit and in truth. And even now, Father, we ask that you would forgive us of anything that we have done or said that has been uh, displeasing to you or in opposition to you and disobedient to your command that you have given unto us. Forgive us, Lord. And as the psalmist said, wash us, cleanse us, purify our hearts and our minds. Create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. Father, it is our desire, even the desire that you have given to us, to live holy, to be upright. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for the privilege of prayer and the opportunity to come to you. And so here we are. Here we are, Lord. Here we are. Hallelujah. Here we are. We come boldly in confidence and yet humbly before you recognizing that you are the only true and living God. We reverence you today. We worship you. We honor you. We praise you. Hallelujah. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit, the promise that you have given to us and our children and our children's children and those that are far off as many as would come to you. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. But we don't always know what to pray for, but the Holy Spirit makes intercession for us because we want to pray according to your will. And so we open ourselves up to the Holy Spirit even now to pray and to intercede according to the will of the Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence even now. Thank you. Thank you, thank you that you would honor us with your presence. Hallelujah. Oh, how we worship you, oh God. You are, you are our God. You are, hallelujah, you are sovereign. You are great, you are mighty, you are wonderful, you are awesome. Oh, how majestic is your name. How excellent is your name in all the earth. We thank you and we bow down to the name of Jesus our Savior, our Lord, our kinsman, Redeemer, our bread of life. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus, our soon coming King, Lord of Lords, King of Kings, King of glory. We rest in you now and we thank you. We thank you so very much. We come to you because we have needs on today. We have requests on today. And you've said in your word that we can come and make our requests known to you. You said in your word in all things we could ask. And it will be given to us if we believe that we have received it. You said in your word that this is the confidence that we have in you. That if we ask anything according to your will, you hear us. And we know that if you hear us, we have the petitions granted that we have asked. And so, Father, we know we can't please you without faith and so we come in faith we come believing today because you said that you incline your ear to hear the prayers of the righteous you said that the prayers of the righteous availeth much 
is much power. And so, Father, because you have said in your word, hallelujah, these things, we come today believing that we will receive what we've asked for because we come according to your will and in agreement with your will, in agreement with your word. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And we come in confidence, thanking you even in advance, Father. Hallelujah. You know what's on our heart. You know our concerns. You know what what we have need of even before we ask but you still said ask and so we ask on today we pray lord god our special petition on today hallelujah is for america hallelujah oh god we come today pray in heavenly father for America, we come now and we come in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. We thank you, Father, that even though a thousand may fall at our side and ten thousand at our right hand, but none will come near us. We thank you, Father, that you have given your angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for this great nation. We thank you, Lord, for this country, America. And so, Father, our heart grieves on today because of what we see and what we witness and what we hear in our government. Oh, God, it grieves us to see the division and all the political upheaval. It's not anything new. But for this generation, oh God, it's something that we've not experienced before. And we're grieved because we see the divisiveness and we see the wickedness and the evil that lurks in the darkness, that lurks in the hearts of those that you have positioned in, in authority to govern this land. And so, Father, I, I cry today, oh God, is to help us. You can turn the hearts of men and women, those that are in authority, because you are God. You are sovereign and all power over heaven and earth is in the hands of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so we cry today, oh God, we cry out today for America. We're on a spiritual decline, oh God. But unless you help us, we are doomed for destruction. As, oh Father, we are to see today. Have mercy on us, oh God, have mercy. Have mercy on us, oh God. We pray for the president of this nation. President Obama, we pray, oh God, for every executive branch of this nation and all the members of Congress. Oh, Father, we pray, oh Lord God, that the hearts of men and women, oh, would be not be so hard and rigid and confrontational and envious and jealous, oh God. Help them to see that this spirit of divisiveness that's among them can only destroy this nation. Help them to understand that you raised them up and you put them in positions of power to lead according to your commands, to lead according to your rule, O oh God. But men in wicked places with hidden agendas and motives and prejudices cause division. Help them to see that they are agents of the enemy, of the principalities and the powers of darkness assigned to this nation, O oh God. Open their eyes to see, Father, O oh God that they would turn their hearts toward you and the principles upon which this nation was founded. Not only do we pray for those in national leadership roles, but we pray for the leadership of every local, state, regional, and federal agencies and commissions and governments of this nation. I ask, O oh Lord, that you guide and you direct the leadership in this nation in every way. I pray, O oh God, that they will see you and they will come to a knowledge of their responsibility as leaders of what we call the free world. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we thank you that even in the midst of all this, you have still protected us. Your protective hand has shielded us from another 9-11 attack. You have, oh God, you have exposed terroristic plots and you have protected us. God calls him to be reminded that it is your hand of protection. 
thank you, Lord, for hearing the prayers and requests of your people on behalf of this nation. Thank you for the other intercessors that pray night and day for this nation. Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of your Son, Jesus, asking you to give us continuous divine protection in spite of the actions and attitudes of those in leadership. Have mercy on us, O God. We're asking you, Lord God, to ensure the safety of your people and to keep us and our nation from harm's way. We ask, O oh God, that you provide protection from the plans of the enemy. We ask, O oh God, for your mercy and your protection. Let your grace abound, because where sin abound, grace abound the more. Father, I pray that you would stop any strategies, hallelujah, of the enemy that would try to come against your people and this nation. I pray, Father, hallelujah, that you would extend a hand of protection against all of the destructive forces of terrorism against your people and this nation. Oh, Father, divert any plans of attack. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you will protect us and this nation from evil attacks of acts of terrorism and stop the aggressiveness of terrorists. Father, in the name of Jesus, that want to bring destruction against this nation. Father, I pray that you would have mercy on us and not let the full judgment come upon us, oh God. I pray in the name of Jesus for your mercy. I pray, oh God, that your blood would prevail. Hallelujah. Let your blood prevail. I plead the blood of Jesus. Your blood cover our president. Your blood cover every senator, every representative, all those in Congress. Father, I pray, let not your judgment fall upon us for our sin, oh God. And our waywardness and our hearts being turned from you, I pray, O oh God. I intercede today. Oh, Father, may the knowledge of terrorist plan attacks be revealed as you have done before, God. I pray that you continue to reveal and expose, O oh God, attempts to, to retaliate. I pray, O oh God, that you would continue to expose provide our national and international security. Father, hallelujah. I pray that you would give wisdom and discernment to those who provide protection for your people in this nation. Help us, O oh Lord. Help everyone in authority to be alert to the signs of wrongdoing in this nation. I pray, O oh Lord God, that you will provide insight to national, international, and local authorities of this nation to set swiftly and avert all danger, protecting American lives and property. Father, I pray most of all that the hearts and minds of people in America, this generation, turn back to you and know that it is your hand of protection upon us. It is your mercy and your grace that keeps us. Father, I pray that you provide instruction in development of effectual and efficient and anti-terrorist strategies. We pray, O oh Lord, we ask for your protection in spite of our waywardness, in spite of we know, oh God, that you judge. Father, so we pray today for America and this nation that your hand of protection would be upon us. Oh God, hallelujah. And we thank you in advance because you hear the cries of your people. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, for our military forces of this nation. We pray, Lord, for their protection. We submit this into your hand, Lord. We give you praise and we give you glory that you hear our prayers. Hallelujah. And our supplication. Heavenly Father, we pray that every potential act of terrorism against this nation or your people will be exposed. And we thank you for it. Heavenly Father. We ask that you loose mighty warring angels and guardian angels to expose and destroy any potential acts of terrorism against any city, any town, or any of your people of this nation. Thank you, Lord God. Help us to see, hallelujah, and to know in the body of Christ that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds and casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ. Oh, Father, 
And so we lift up the body of Christ to you. Those that have been called according to your purpose and called according to your name. That we will humble ourselves and pray and seek your face and turn from our wicked ways. So that our land will be healed. So that you will forgive us and we can be the light that you have chosen us to be in this world. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your abundance that you have provided for us as a nation. You have been so good to us, oh God. We have so much stuff and we have so many things. And we have allowed material possessions to overshadow your goodness and your mercy toward us. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, oh God. Forgive us. Forgive us for not acknowledging your goodness and your mercy toward us. But becoming so obsessed with things that we have turned away from you, oh God. Forgive us. Wash us, oh God. Revive us. Stir us. Bring us back to the knowledge that it is you and you alone, oh God. Oh, Father. Help us, oh Lord. I cry out to you today. I cry out for your mercy, oh God. I cry out for your mercy. Oh Father. Oh Father, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Father, for hearing I cry today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. For every intercessor, let us not grow weary in well-doing. Help us to see that what we see in the natural is not our defeat, but there are more for us than there is against us. As you open the eyes of the servant of Elisha, open our eyes, O God, that we will see into the supernatural realm and know, hallelujah, that you are for us, hallelujah, and we have the victory in spite of what we see in the natural. We are victorious, and we are more than conquerors to Christ who loved us. Keep us, I pray. Build us up where we are weak and torn down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Strengthen us. Teach us to fight in the realm of the Spirit, not with swords and guns and knives and natural weapons. But teach us, O oh God, to use the weapons of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The Word of God has our sword of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus, a power of attorney that has the power, O oh God. At the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue should confess. We decree and declare that He is Lord. He's Lord over everything. Hallelujah. You are Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for being our chief intercessor. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, that seals us to the day of redemption. Thank you, Lord God, for everything. Thank you that you meet our need. Hallelujah. You make ways for us, ways that we have no imagination about. Hallelujah. For eyes have not seen and ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men those things that you have prepared for us that love you. Thank you, Father. And yet you reveal to us. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for greater. We thank you, Lord, for better. Hallelujah. We thank you and we give you praise and we bless your name today. We thank you that you hear our prayer. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for hearing our prayer concerning our nation, America. We give you praise and we give you glory. Thank you, Lord, for you are our refuge, our strong tower, our stronghold in times of trouble. Hallelujah. And so we declare with our mouth that your people of this nation will dwell in safety in this land and prosper abundantly. Yes, Yes, Father. Hallelujah. We are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. And we declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Father. We thank you. Hallelujah. That no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rise up against us in judgment we shall condemn. This is our heritage as servants of the Most High God. God. And we give you praise and we give you glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is our prayer with thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ, the Savior of the world. 
Amen. It is so. Amen.